Okay, hello everyone. So this would be our lecture video for chapter 2 which is the internet in IoT. Okay, so the, uh, diba? when you define IoT, it is internet of things. So we'll try to discuss here okay, the internet from that. Okay, so true to almost all or if not all uh, if not all okay almost network in our modern day computing okay uh, we primarily use okay or it initially used the OSI okay so the open systems interconnection model okay so this model was introduced by the International Organization for Standardization okay or ISO in 1984 okay so this is to address the complex problem of reliable and efficient communication in large scale networks. Okay? So if you want uh, there was a need to implement an efficient and reliable means of communication, okay? Large scale networks, okay? This is networks that communicate with other networks across geographical uh, vast geographical uh, spaces. Okay? So, again, nearly all data networks today are based on the OSI standard, okay? So, the model is intended to describe and standardize the main communication function of any telecommunication or computing system without regard to their underlying internal structure and technology. So, this is what a standard is, okay? So, in technology, you need to follow a standard, okay, if you want to access its feature, okay? So, if you want to... Uh, create an equipment or a tool that utilizes networks in today's uh, in today's world okay or in today's application so you need to follow this OSI standard okay na og if you want to make use or if you want to create if you want to create a device in a computer that is able to, to utilize uh, the universal the universal serial bus or the USB slot in a computer you need to follow the standard, okay? Na standard yung specify ang USB na, okay? Actually named the USB standard, okay? So almost all, okay? Almost all computing uh, technology has a standard, and when it comes to networking, so naputay standard yung gina follow, which is the OSI standard, okay? So its goal is uh, interoperability of diverse communication system with standard protocols, okay? So protocols, these are a set of rules that you need to follow when it comes to uh, using this standard. So, the OSI is a conceptual model. Buot pa sabot ani, okay? Uh, this is, uh, when you say model, when you say standard, okay? Mura na siya o template lang nga ginabasihan. Okay? So, it is a conceptual model of how various compute, uh, compo uh, components communicate in data-based network. Okay? Or networks. Uh, not necessarily, uh, uh, this is not to be confused with the word database. Okay? But data-based. Okay? Meaning, uh, you are dealing with data okay, in a form of communication. Okay? So, lahat itong database kay, if, the, if, if, you, if you refer to the word database nga walay dash, okay, it's, it's just a single word. Okay? It refers to storage. Okay? So, uh, a form of efficient storage, which is not discussed in this uh, subject. Okay. Now, the concept behind this OSI model is it utilizes divide and conquer to virtually break down network communication responsibilities into layers. Okay. So, I think this is not new to you since na, na, murang nakaagi naman mo uh, I think data communication okay, or uh, fundamentals of that. So, makita na ninyo ni or you are already familiar with this OSI layers. Okay. So, naatay 7. Okay. How it is being uh, structured is layer 7 is in the topmost, okay? So, layer 1 is at the, uh, the bottom, okay? So, this is also uh, in relation to how we, uh, how we have the different layers of abstraction, okay? So, when we talk about abstraction in computing, the higher the level, uh, the higher level it is, okay, the easier uh, the easier for the end user to understand it and util and use it, okay. So which is also true here, okay. So naatay pito, okay. 
So we have here, you could, you could easily memorize this, okay, from layer 7 to layer 1, na tayo murag, maha, ma, murag acronym nga UPSTANDP, okay, or APSTNDP, okay, so you could use that moni, uh, mnemonic, okay. So what we have here, kaning dere, of course, this is the layer, okay, this is the actual name of our layer, OSI layers, so uh, namely application layer, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. And in other way, okay, it, it, it refers to its format, okay? It is suggested here, the data format, kung unsa iyahang gina-accept ng information, okay? And what is expected nga iyahang gina-process, okay? So, we have here from layer 7 to layer 5 data, okay? In which the normal way how we communicate in a typical program, okay? Kana mga keyboard inputs na to, or... Uh, most likely keyboard inputs okay, or in information that is received through these commonly used input devices okay. then layer 4 to layer 1 iyahan na dayan ang gina transform okay. na na iyang i-refer uh, uh, data would be uh, segregated into segment in the transport layer sa network it comes in the forms of packet, data link, frames and physical bits okay. so we'll discuss later, we'll see later why this is uh, arranged in such a manner so first is the application layer okay this is the topmost layer in our osi model now this is an abstraction layer again when we talk about abstraction certain information are hidden from the user in which delete niya necessarily nga mahibauan okay so let's say uh, you are using diba let's say you're using a certain application that connects to the internet let's say you're using your browser Okay, the browser okay, serves as an application okay, in which it offers a layer of abstraction nga dili na ni mo kinahanglan mahibawan unsaon na sa uh, browser nga ma-convert na ang data into uh, sitaw na bits and bytes that is being transferred across the, your network, your home network, then ultimately sa internet, then to another home network. Okay, so dili na ni na kinahanglan mahibawan. Okay, that is why it's called an abstraction layer. Okay, so this abstraction layer specifies the shared protocols and interface methods used by host in a communication network. Okay, so it is where the user interact with the network using higher level protocols. Okay, again, in what I, as what I've stated earlier, higher level, the higher the level uh, uh, computing, uh, in, co uh, in computing is, the easier it is for the user to use and consequently understand. Okay. So, using higher level protocols such as, so, kanin, money common, okay, DNS, HTTP, you're familiar with this HTTP, money ginagamit sa browser if you are go if you are browsing web pages across the internet, okay? So, secured shell, SSH, uh, file transfer protocol, FTP, so if you are uh, trying to download, okay, download or upload media or files, so FTP, so TFTP, SNMP, SMTP, so, na ito na i-discuss kaayo in details, Unsa ning mga protocols. Okay, so just so we know, there are certain protocols that is usable. Okay, in uh, in every layer. Okay, so sa application layer, mao ni sila. Okay, so in each protocol, na say application again, let's say web browsing, file transfer, uh, mail. Okay, mail transfer, lahi po na siya. And like, uh, say tawag ni video conferencing. So na ingana, there are certain protocols for that in our application layer next is the presentation layer so this is of course the layer below our application layer okay so the presentation layer is actually our operating system okay so you are familiar with that an operating system is our main software okay in which uh, uh, that device as a computer uh, relies on having to operate okay at its most basic Okay, so the presentation layer is responsible for the delivery and formatting of information to the application layer for additional processing uh, is required. Okay, so this ensures this layer actually ensures uh, cross-platform compatibility. Both pasabot ana, okay? Uh, don't you not wonder how you are browsing in an Android device? Okay, let's say you are using, oh, let's say you are using Messenger. Okay, so you installed a certain app in your android device okay then somehow it is able to communicate 
to an Apple device, which is an entirely different platform, okay? So, which is iOS, okay? And also, makakommunicate pa yun sa uh, Windows, okay? So, this is where the presentation layer comes into play, okay? So, the OS, okay, or in this presentation layer, okay, it ensures that it offers cross-platform compatibility, Okay, so again, it ensures that data can be understood between sender and receiver. So this, take, this takes care of any issues that might arise where data sent from one system needs to be viewed in different way by the other system. Okay, so nga na. Now, the presentation layer releases the application layer of concerns regarding syntactical differences in data representation within the end user system. So, matong giingon kanina. Okay, so basically, this all summarizes to cross-platform uh, compatibility, okay? The platform that, I'm, that I am most likely referring here is kani ato ang operating system, okay? But it's not solely the operating system. As, as stated here, this is where the operating system services reside. So, it's not entirely, okay? Na, na ay mga minor nga mga application, but mainly, di ha nakakabutang atong operating system, Okay? So, next is layer 5, is the session layer, okay? So, again, this goes from top to bottom, okay? So, the session layer, uh, when we talk about session, it's like an active, activ uh, it's like the current activity, okay? Or what's actively happening, okay? So, let's say you are currently chatting with a friend of yours, okay? In, let's say, Messenger, okay? In that instance, okay, while you are conver uh, conversing, okay, or you are having a video uh, conference or video chat, okay, that could be considered as a session, okay. So it's like an active, uh, it's a current activity, okay. So the the session layer deals with the communication to create and manage session or multiple sessions between two network elements, okay. So let's say a session between your computer and the server that your computer is getting information from. So, let's say you are accessing YouTube and you're viewing a video. So, that instance, okay, or that time that you are viewing YouTube, okay, that could be considered as a session. So, na session layer nga aga atiman ana. Okay? So, next is the transport layer. So, dari nagsugod tong pag, okay, going back to sa ato ang uh, format, data format, dili nagsugod ang paglahi. Kaning sa application, sa presentation, ng session, okay, data pa ang ginahandle ani. Okay, meaning, kung unsa tong gina-receive ng information through our keyboard, through our input devices, most likely in its entirety, mauna ang ginahandle. But, once it comes to the transport layer, okay, iyan na himuon nga segment. So, the transport layer also uses the concept of windowing, okay? So, this is so to decide how much information should be sent at times or at a time between endpoints, okay? So, dili mana derit so nga ibulton yag send, okay? That's why it's also called segment, okay? So, it, it breaks down into segments to smaller pieces or portions of unit, uh, unit data, okay? Para ma, uh, mapadala, okay? Mapadala across the network, I mean. So, layer 4 main protocols include the transmission control protocol or the TCP and the user datagram protocol or the UDP. So, TCP is used for guaranteed delivery applications such as FTP and web browsing application. What this means is uh, data should be ultimately uh, transported in its complete form. Okay, that's why it should be guaranteed. Okay. So, UDP, similarly, is used for best effort applications such as IP telephony and video over IP. Now, this doesn't really require uh, ba, the complete data, but as much as possible, ideally, dapat complete. But if dili, pwede ra, but it comes into a degradation of quality. So, let's say, di ba, kabantay man mo, Anna, let's say, kung mag-stream, magtanaw mo stream Makatanaw niya po mag-stream, even though, okay, the network doesn't really uh, allow, let's say, the highest quality, okay, so, medyo low quality, or sometimes, so, mag, putol-putol, okay, diba, ang live stream, of course, but the name suggests, live yun na siya, kung sa'y ginahi mo in real time, so, na yung mga data na, nga dili niya mahatag, so, bahala na, 
okay? As long as it the uh, it tries, okay? It tries to deliver that, and if delay, then it it just delivers the next okay set of data that could be delivered. Mao na ang sa to ang uh, video over IP under UDP. But sa TCP dapat complete yun, okay? So that is why FTP and web browsing applications are commonly used uh, in this protocol. Okay? So, mga na sila. TCP and UDP, they reside on the transport layer. Okay? They differ in the data that they are uh, handling. Okay? So, kana. So, next is the network layer. Okay? So, ang network layer, this layer is task to provide connectivity and path selection. Mura bitawog, diri gina-establish kung asa ipadala. Okay? So, di ba kung magpadala ta, okay, it makes sense nga, uh, katong mga courier, katong mga driver, let's say sa Lazada, kabalo sila nga, of course, dapat kabalo sila asa gikan, but most importantly, kabalo sila asa padulong. Okay? Kay, of course, pwede rin na sila makalarga without those information. But, of course, without those information, okay, dili sila kabalo ahan nila na ipahatod ipadala okay what i meant by this is uh, in its ability okay then uh, kati katong mga uh, mga courier nato okay makalarga ra gina sila ila okay kay nam sila motor okay uh, kabalo man sila mo drive of course but before successful uh, successful delivery in our analogy okay uh, dili lang nato concern nga na nga to ang product nga ipadala dapat naapod tay data with regards to asa nato ipadala and for confirmation of data of course we need also to have the information kung ahan agikan para i-acknowledge pod na didto sa atong gipadalaan nga ah okay mao ni akong gina expect na package so i will receive this okay so similarly sa tong networking ana gihapon okay so that analogy applies to this network layer Okay. So, the network layer again provides connectivity and path selection, let's say IP routing, based on logical addresses called IP addresses. Okay. I think you're familiar with that. Okay. If you have been uh, accessing files in a local server, okay, or kanang, sa uh, inyong katong, uh, I believe you have subjects like uh, basic okay, networking, okay. So, kana IP address is well discussed there. So, that's why they are not going to discuss the IO array. Okay? Hence, routers operate at the network level. Okay? Kana inyo mga router, okay? It operates in a network level. Okay? So, router that is used to establish connection in a network, especially if it involves multiple devices. Okay? So, kung duha ka devices, actually, pwede ragid ang usa ka, let's say, LAN cable. Okay? A direct na connection. But, when it comes to multiple devices, especially in a wireless uh, environment, okay, so we need to have a router for that. So the network layer breaks the data it receives from the transport layer into packets, okay, packets which are also known as datagrams or IP datagrams, okay. So katong sa previous nga layer, on sa tayo lang ginagamit, they are using segment sa transport. So sa ato apag yung network layer, kato ilang na receive nga data, okay in a form of segments ilaha pag yun nang i uh, convert ilaha pa nang i organize okay ilaha pa nang i organize into packets okay which is also known as ip datagrams which contains source and destination uh, ip addresses information that is used to forward datagrams between hosts and across networks okay so kaning datagram kay mauning data so you have as as we remember the data formats okay so, kana network layer, okay, diha, dapat ay packets, okay, packets or datagram, mao na sila, or IP datagram. So, mao na kibali ang katong ginapadala sa courier, sa tong analogy, okay. So, the courier serves, uh, uh, is the, is the, uh, si tawag ane, the network layer, okay, sila ang gahandal anang unsay na ipadala, okay, kinsa, kay kinsa gikan og asa pa dulong okay so sa network layer kibali na atay network layer which uh, arrange that uh, arrange that delivery quote in quote then ip datagrams this is the actual let's say parcel kibali or data that you're trying to trans to move then kanida yung ato ang source okay of course the source and destination asa gikan og asa pa dulong now as usual with each layer naapo tay mga protocols ana 
okay, nga makita. So, a routing protocol specifies how router communicates with each other. So, exchanging information that enables them to select routes between any two nodes in a computer network. But what sabot ani, okay, routers are tasked to create a path, okay, or offer a path in which it offers the, uh, let's say, the most efficient, okay, the most efficient and reliable nga uh, path, okay. So, mura na kibali og how, you, how a rider decide to go to your destination, okay. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the shortest path is the most optimum path. Okay? Sometimes let's say na ay say tawag na, na obstacle diha, okay? Or na ay say tawag ana. The the means of transfer is unsuitable, okay? So let's say lubak ka ay uh, lubak ka ayo or na disgrasya, na obstruction gibali. So dili of course dili na kalahos. Gibala unsa na kaduol. Okay, so there needs to be another way of finding the next most efficient, most optimum path. Okay, so nanay mga routing protocol ana nga ginabasihan ato ang mga routers. Okay, so that is our layer 3 network layer. Now note, though layer 3 and 4 are theoretically separated, they are typically closely related to each other in practice. Okay, some applications, some uh, computing devices mura gina merge sila okay hence they are closely related to each other in practice that is why napud tay madunggan nga word let's say the tcp ip okay so the well known internet protocol name tcp ip comes from the transport layer protocol and the network layer protocol nga commonly in practice ginauban okay but technically speaking Okay, kuan yun na sila, separated yun na sila in its different layers. So, layer 2, mauna yun eh, okay? This defines the data format for final transmission, okay? So, here, the data link layer breaks the data in, uh, it receives into frames, okay? So, marang kibali, mauna ni ang dagan, mauna ni ang en route, mauna ni ang uh, in transit in transit nga communication okay ginapadagan na gyud siya sa to ang uh, medium okay or sa to ang connection or sa to ang data link so the data link layer breaks up the data it receives into frames okay so dere mura gina chop chop na nila for delivery so it deals mura bitaw kanang kanang sa i am commonly using online shopping here kay it's very uh, analogous man god okay sometimes in your purchase let's say daghan kayo mo og uh, daghan kayo mo product from a uh, different uh, merchants or even with the same merchant there are cases nga dili na niya na mapadala diretso okay dili niya ma, i mean dili niya mapa, mapadala in bulk that is why there's a need for it to be break uh, broken down Okay. So similarly, na po'y broken down or breaking down ng mga kahitabo dere. Okay. So the data li the data link layer breaks that those data in the previous layer into frames. Now it deals with delivery of frames within devices on the same LAN using the MAC address or MAC stands for Media Access Control. Now the internet network routing is addressed by layer three, allowing data link to focus. Okay. So katong addressing sa layer three na to. Okay, sila ang nagmanage, sila kibali ang nag-organize sa data na asa gikan, unsa nga data o sa padulong. Okay? Now, the data link protocols now will focus to the local or the actual delivery, okay? On local delivery, physical addressing and media arbitration, okay? So in short, the actual uh, transit of data. Now, similarly, okay, to uh sa to nga kuan Kung may error detection okay, sa transport layer, the data link layer also has its form of error detection okay, or the cyclical redundancy check. Okay, by the name suggests, it tries to check if the data that is being sent is redundant. Okay, so, na na, we will not discuss that into detail but just so we know, na po yung mga form of error detection meaning na asay murag means of preventing uh, erroneous information to be sent in uh, in its layer okay in the in the data link so typical data link layer devices include switches bridges and wireless access points okay so not to be confused with the router okay so switches bridges and wire uh, and by as mentioned earlier they are primarily meant 
to perform local delivery, physical addressing, and media arbitration. Okay? Sa routing, lahat ito, router, di ba? Ay, ang sa router, mautong sa previous layer nga, uh, kinsay magpadala, asagi ka, nag-asa padulong. Okay? At its most basic functions, mauna siya. So, examples of data link protocols are Ethernet for local area networks and point-to-point -point, uh, protocol or PPP. Okay, so, kana itong makita actually, di ba, sa ito ang uh, computer sa ubos, sa ito ang taskbar na ay murag Ethernet diha, dahil na ay makita ka rin ito nga speed. Okay, uh, do not confuse that speed that is being stated there as the actual speed of your internet connection. Okay, commonly makita na ito diha, murag 1 gigabit or 10 gigabit or 100 mbps so which is, which is most likely dili na mao inyo hangga kadawat in real time okay what it refers to is its maximum capacity that at any given point of time it is able to transfer such speed okay per second okay so kana gigabit per second megabit per second nga na okay so kana then finally we have the physical layer Okay. The physical layer describes, okay, this is the last, the, bot, most, uh, the bottom most layer. Okay. The physical layer describes the physical media access and properties. It breaks up the data it receives from the data link layer in a bits of zeros and ones. What it meant by this is ultimately, every computer could only understand machine language. And uh, in order for the computer to understand any information that is sent across the network, there needs to be a physical layer to handle that. So, the physical layer basically defines the electrical or mechanical interface to the physical medium. It consists of the basic networking and hardware transmission technologies. Okay? So, okay, it's the most basic. It's the lowest level sa ito ang OSI model. Okay? So, it presents data to the computer in a form that it could quote and quote understand which is essentially a, a series of zeros and one so the physical layer defines the ways transmitting row bits over a physical link okay connecting network nodes including copper wires fiber optic cables optical wavelength and wireless frequency it is very similar actually sa data link okay but it's it's just it is just converted in a further uh, again, quote in quote, understandable manner that the computer could understand, uh, could process. Okay, so still it is it 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 is involved. Uh, the physical layer is uh, involved in transmitting. Okay, but row bits na siya, Okay, over a physical link. Okay, so medyo similar sila in in function ang layer two of layer one, but okay, lower level lang. Okay. So again, leveling, the higher the level, the, the easier it is for the user and users to understand. The lower the level, the quote-unquote, easier it is for the computer, okay, as a machine to quote-unquote understand, okay. So, kana. so that is the, those are, I mean, the, those are the seven layers of our OSI model, okay. So this is the summary. So di na nako na basahon yun. So, the end-to-end -end view of the OSI model. What is, uh, let's say, what we could discuss here is the greater picture, okay? Or a real-life application. So, an application, let's say, for example, Microsoft Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Outlook and user Ace computer. Later on, we'll get to see if eh, is there. Okay, na atay murag illustration diha. Okay. An application, let's say Microsoft Outlook in user A's computer. Uh, Microsoft Outlook, Outlook is actually, I think that's an email, email application. So that produces a data targeted to another device on the network, let's say another computer, okay, for in a computer B or a server that A is getting information from. Okay, so in this scenario, na yung sa computer, okay, which is named here A, which is using Microsoft Outlook, to communicate with another computer which is named here B which serves as the server okay in this network now each layer in the OSM model add its own information okay so natay headers and trailers to the front or both of the front and the end of the data it receives from the layer above it okay 
such process is called encapsulation. Okay? So for instance, the transport layer adds a TCP header, the network layer adds an IP header, and the data link layer adds an ether Ethernet header and trailer. But pasabot ani is, as data moves across the different layers in our OSI model, na sila ipang dugang ng mga data. Okay? Para magkasinagtanay sila. Okay? Remember, lahilay sila protocol. Okay? Lahilay sila data format. And in order for a seamless communication, uh, across the layer, okay, naapat, naapod siya ay ipang dugang nga information para mabawan, okay, para ma-retain eh, ultimately when it comes to transferring that data. So, encapsulated data, okay, or encapsulation, mura ginakot, mura ikibalik, uh, natay gina, ang, at every time natay ginadugang, nat, that dugang na proceed, na process is called encapsulation, Okay. So, encapsulated data is transmitted into protocol data units or PDUs. Okay? So, mauna na yung katong discuss earlier, di ba? Katong segments, packets, frames, and bits. Okay? Segments on the transport layer, packets on the network layer, frames in the data link layer, and bits on the physical layer. Okay? So, ang kakaita po dere na ay murag, di ba? Na mga breaking down, but definitely na po ay ginadugang. Okay? So it's 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 part of the encapsulation process. So PDUs are passed down through the stack of layers until they can be transmitted over the physical layer. Okay? A physical layer mga nang pinaka last nga layer. Di ba? So when a physical layer then slices the PDUs into bits and trans and transmit the bits over the physical connection that may be wireless, radio link, fiber optic or copper cables. Okay? So ultimately maabot manggit dayon na sa physical layer in which uh, in a form of bits and row bytes katong tanging kanina okay uh, row bits over a physical link diha na dayon ang delivery okay So the physical layer provides the physical connectivity between host over which communication occurs okay so as mentioned earlier okay uh, it behaves similarly sa sa tong before sa physical layer data link layer okay so, sa physical layer, okay, it also includes, okay, uh, includes the actual, or we could say that it, it is the actual nagyod, okay, the actual transferring of data, okay, or establishment of connectivity between host over which communication occurs. So, the physical layer is the wire connecting both computers on the network, okay, as what I've mentioned earlier. The OSI model ensures that both users speak the same language on the same layer, allowing sending and receiving layers to virtually communicate. So data passed, okay, when passing data, okay, data passed upward is decapsulated before being passed further up in a process called decapsulation. So we'll see later a diagram okay, in which unsay behavior sa encapsulation and decapsulation when it comes to communication between hosts in a network. Thus, the physical layer chops up the PDUs and transmit the PDUs over the physical connection. Okay? So, it is summarized here. Diba? Let's say a client using a certain application, let's say Microsoft Outlook, okay? While using that application, okay? As the data moves downward, okay? Say, well, downward by the way. Okay. As it moves downward, okay, in uh, in our OSI model, okay, so application, let's say, diha taga type, diba? Presentation, diha gina handle sa, let's say, na operating system diha, which is uh, handling what data is being presented sa application layer, okay? Then, it determines on saan nga session nga kaya tabo diha, okay? So, in this layer, data pa, kato pa to ang uh, input kibali let's say when we are typing in Outlook we're creating an email okay so diha na to diha, diha ginahandle tong mga data in its application presentation and session okay again ang application kibali atong Outlook ang presentation diha makita kung asa git install ng operating system ang Outlook and ang session that refers to the active okay while using Outlook as an application Katong inyo hang actively type uh, actively type nga user ang uh, email address o email content, okay? It is handled by the session. So once that is done, it moves to the next layer sa tong transport layer and in addition to the data, 
okay? From the layer here, okay? Di ba sa transport layer, sa tayo mahita bo? It becomes a segment, okay? So, in addition to the segment, okay? With TCP, okay? Or the Transmission Control Protocol, okay? We could say this is the header, okay? Uh, uh, header would be provided here in the TCP in addition sa ito ang data, okay? Then, after which, let's say, na determine, sa trabaho, uh, uh, remember the function of the transport layer, okay? It establishes end-to-end -end communication, okay? So, once it acknowledges that there is an active session, okay, from the previous layer, then, what once that is done, let's say, na nag-go signal nga, ah, okay, ne, na ikakita ba ang session, aning application, okay? So, let's move that to the network, in which, I-determine da yun kung asa na padulong, okay? Given that we have an IP here, okay? As you can see, mura ginaputos, okay? Mura bita o ginakahon, sulod na po sa kahon, okay? Mauna ang encapsulation, na ay addition of data, which is being encapsulated or mura sa ginakahon, okay? By the, uh, from the word capsule, di ba? Capsule na na si sulod. So, mura capsule within capsule, mauna ang gakita mo. Okay? So, sa data link layer na yun, determine sa, let's say here, na naputay gi, add nga, mga header o trailer here, in the form of the internet protocol. Okay? So, sa data link, makita na yun, sa tong sa data link. The data link layer, okay, uh, determines in a LAN. Okay? So, sa, within the local network pa, okay, and using the MAC address, so, diha pa niya gina, determine. Da yun. Okay, sa ito ang data link kung okay, naabas sa network. Okay, if naabas sa network ang gapadala. Okay, naabas sa network or lo is it locally communicating? Yan na. Then, also, okay, ang information na naadere, di ba? Uh, essentially speaking, kompleto na ni eh, information para sa ito. Ah. We could readily see, we could readily, we could readily know nga asa nga data, okay? Uh, unsa sa nga sa ni TCP transport, okay? Asa sa ang TCP o di ba ang TCP IP mura common man sila. So asa pa dulong o uh, unsa on pag unsa pag transfer asa gikan sa so, na diha. So unsa nga protocol unsa gamitan sa sa at sa data link, okay? So na demo ra bita og mao na ni ang atong ipat sa career mao na ni ang ipadala mismo. Okay? Mao na ni ipadala na na information tanan. But again, since we are talking about computers communicating with each other, we need to transform that further into a format nga masabta nila, which is why natay physical layer padiha, which is makita na to nga ang information dere na convert na to ones and zeros. Okay? Kay maora man gyud ni ang pwede ipadala across the physical medium na gyud. Okay? So once that is done, Muad to na dayon siya. So, this is in a form of switch. Okay? So, as you can see, if you are, if you are confused with other uh, color, color scheme, maunin siya. Okay? Header or trailer. Ang green. So, going back, di ba? Nanane. Nanane ato ang uh, trans, uh, raw bits of data. So, in a medium, in a wire, kibale. Okay? Ato ang switch. Okay? Then, atong router then across the internet okay the router ultimately communicates with another router through the internet okay then there na po da yun kakita po ang decapsulation okay nga naman why is there a need for decapsulation uh, de decapsulation of course okay you want to understand di ba ang gipadala dari data is raw bits of data and kita as a person, we ideally want to see, okay, see information in a format that we could understand. That is why naapoy decapsulation nga kakahitabo. And, fortunate, and fortunately, okay, so, ang OSI model is capable of murabitaw o iyahang ibak, uh, murag i, ah, uh, sitaw gani, murag ipabali bitaw niya ang transaction in a way nga, at the end of the decapsulation process, okay, we get to understand what is being sent from the network. Okay, again, ang actual nga ginapasa dere sa tong network is, is kaning raw bits of data. And we need to 
present that in a way that we could readily understand. Okay? So, ang kakita po dari, okay? Uh, gikan dari sa router, dari sa switch, okay? Let's say this is this is the computer na dayon within the computer na ani siyang uh, uh, OSI model or nga, nga application or sa itagang implementation, I mean. So, dari, sa physical layer, okay? Pagpasa ka sa data link, it tries to decipher. Okay? Kung dari, murag iyahang gina uh, padala, padulong sa, sa itagang eh, sa robits, gikan dere sa robits mo gyan gina decipher padulong sa format nga mabasa sa tao. Okay? So it's it's just a reverse process. Okay? Dere sa ang robits of data. Okay? Iyang gina iyang gina decipher unsa nga part ang sa uh, ang pwede i-handle sa uh, to ang mga protocol protocol in a form of header or trailer. Mo gyan gina identify kung unsa ning mga at nga header, IP nga header, TCP nga header, unsa ang data mismo o unsa to ang let's say at nga trailer. Ay, at nga trailer, ato ang murag uh, protocol nga trailer. Okay? Saka na. So once that is being done, okay? Ultimately, ang katatabo diri is murag gina decapsulation, di ba? Kung diri nga part is ginaputos na to, diri murag iyang gina unbox, okay? Or iyang gina unwrap. Okay? So slowly this uh, slowly pulti, uh, pulling out information okay in a way that they are converted upwards to the application level in a higher level okay para masabtan okay so as you get to see here gikan dere sa network okay may identify niya nga let's say asa na gika na okay so na na nga header complete ang information diha we get to see nga na ay nag send ani okay so dere po dayon sa transport layer so we get to know that uh, okay na ni TCP gikan dere okay ang ginahimo mo dere is iyang ginatanaw if complete ning information okay if complete ning information then it gets to progress to the upper layers okay so murag uh, okay tanggalon ko na ning at dere nga nga knowing nga naa na ni siya so gidawat ni successfully sa data link tanggalon ta na ning at nga nga header og trailer ihatag lang nato sa network layer ang IP og TCP data and true to uh, true to uh, true to all layers na dayon nga naay mo rag unboxing kay tabo so diri na po dayon ah okay gikan diri sa IP TCP data if ipadala to ni sa transport data no huwing nga naay IP diha so ato alang kwa on diri nga data isang TCP og data so sa session na dayon okay ang data lang mismo okay and then sa presentation og sa application kana okay so what i'm trying to say here is okay during a during a process okay murag ihang gina unbox ihang gina convert pabali in reverse nga from the data that is being understood by the computer okay it will de decapsulate or decrypt it okay or convert it in a manner nga masabtan when a certain user is viewing that information using the application that is installed there okay so mura ra kibali og na ay nag uh, let's say ikaw in a, in messenger okay nakigisend nga di, nga chat okay so na conversion ka kahit tabo diha okay uh, nahimo siya og bits okay bits and uh, bits of data ni ani siya dere ni ato siya didto padulong sa inyong gisendan okay and since bits of data man ang gi, gi ang gipadala dere so it needs to be converted upwards the layer nga masabtan ninyo that using the application similar to the application being used here typically messenger pod okay nga masabtan ra sa user ana okay so i hope wala mo nagdibog and again uh, i think kasabot na uh, kabalo na mo ani okay aning say to gani basics of OSI since nakaagi naman mo atong uh, networking fundamentals sa subject or similar subject to that okay so let's now discuss uh, the TCP Okay, or the Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. It's actually a protocol suite. Okay, now this is actually a separate implementation of or a separate standard. Okay, uh, which is somewhat similar sa OSI model. Okay, so di ba to an extent nga naatay? Okay, comparison dere sa to ang dere nga part sa tong previous discussion, di ba? So the internet protocol name TCP/IP was kana. So 
TCP/IP is actually a separate. Okay, it's a separate standard. Okay, which is which is referred to as a connection-oriented transport protocol suite. Okay, or protocol suite or suite refers to a collection. Okay, that sends data as an unstructured streams of bytes. Okay, sa mga po niyang implementation, unstructured stream of bytes. Now, by using sequence numbers and acknowledgement messages, TCP can provide a sending node with delivery information about packet transmitted to a destination node. Okay? Mura kibali o na siya ay somewhat a minor form of encapsulation. Okay? Mura na siya ay i-provide ng sending node with delivery information okay, that is to be transmitted to to a certain destination node. Okay? So, where data, uh, where data has been lost in trans transmit from source to destination, TCP can retransmit the data until either a timeout condition is reached or until successful delivery has been achieved. Both pasabot ani, dili niya automatically ginadrop ang connection if naikulang a data ang gina transfer. But it attempts to it attempts to reestablish connection by uh, by by retransmitting it okay now it could diba when you uh, when it tries to retransmit nai actually duplication of messages sana okay now tcp can recognize this duplication and it will discard them appropriately ang iha lang i-check is mabantayan niya nga uy mura ginabalik-balik lagi ni send nga data there seems to be a problem okay so kung unsay mura nadugang ato nga bag-o nga kinahanglan di ay sa communication, maura to'y ginakip sa TCP. Now, if the sending computer is transmitting too fast, okay, that is also a problem in itself, for receiving, for the receiving computer, TCP can employ flow control mechanism mechanism to slow data transfer. Okay? So, di po daw maayo nga paspas kaayo ang pag-send. Okay? So, na po'y murag flow control mechanism to slow down the data transfer. Now, TCP can also communicate delivery information to upper layer protocols and application it supports. Okay? Now, with all of these characteristics, characteristics this makes TCP an end-to-end -end reliable transport protocol. Okay? So, you might be wondering, unsa may kalahian ani? Okay? Unsa kalahian ani sa OSI? Uh, sa OSI nga model, okay? Remembering the fact that it's act, it's a separate standard, okay? Now, TCP was actually in the process of development when the OSI standard was published in 1984. So, kamulo pa ginahima ang TCP, ang OSI standard na established na, okay? Now, the TCP IP model uh, is not, that is actually not, that is not exactly the same as okay, it's not exactly the same as the OSI model though the OSI model has been very influential in the growth and development of the TCIP standard and that is why much of the OSI terminology is applied to uh, TCP that is TCP IP so sorry for the misspelling Kana. So it's not really meant to be a competi uh, uh, a, a, a let's say a uh, competitor, okay? But uh, it's like more it's more like an inspiration, okay? It's like an alternative standard. So the relationship between the OSI reference model and the TCIP, TCP IP, okay? Unsay kalahian, okay? Ang kalahian is the layers has been reduced from the number of layers has been reduced from 7 to 4 though nahitabo ani is some of the layer has been merged okay so kani di ba earlier in my discussion sa ako ang OSI reference model kaning application o presentation og session layers di ba they typically hold the same type of data so due to that sa ato ang TCP IP layer giusa na siya in a form of application. Okay? So, naanatanan sa application layer ang sa tagane, ang katong data which is sa uh, OSI model which pertains sa uh, sa to, sa operating system services, sa session management na usa na diri sa application. 
Okay? Mga nasa sa TCP IP na model. So, kana. Mga yung na-merge dari. Okay? So, still, below that, natin yung transport, la transport layer. And then, dari, okay, sa network layer, sa, sa network layer sa tuwang OSI model, okay, sa TCP IP, okay, it refers to that as the internet layer. Okay? So, na, they are similar in its functions. Okay? Or similar in its hierarchy. Now, dari po sa layer 2 and 1, it has been merged into one layer, dari sa itong TCP IP, which is the network interface layer. Okay? So, we'll get to discuss this TCP IP, IP layers next. Okay? So, sa TCP IP layer 4, the topmost layer, the application layer, so as with the OSI model, the application layer is the most topmost layer of TCP IP model. It combines the application, presentation, and session layers of the OSI model. Now, the application layers defines TCP application protocols and how host program interface with transport layer services to use the network. Okay. Next is the transport layer. So the transport layer is the third layer. Okay. Its main function is to permit devices on the source and destination host to carry on a conversation. Okay. So uh, in, the, in this layer, it manages the actual, the, let's say, the permission. Okay. If pwede ba sila communicate So the transport layer defines the level of service and status of the connection used when transporting data. So the main protocols included at the transport port layer is the TCP protocol and the UDP. Okay. Next is the internet layer. So the internet layer of TCP I, of the TCP IP stack packs data into data packets known as IP datagram. So very similar, diba? Some of this implementation is evident sa OSI model which contains source and destination address information that is used to forward the datagrams within host and across networks. Now, the internet layer is also responsible for routing IP datagrams. So, the main protocol include, uh, included at the internet layer is IP, ICMP, IRP, PRP, and IGMP. So, we, we are not really concerned with these protocols in this subject, but just so you know, na morning ang mga protocols na during a layer. Now, the main TCP IP layer devices are routers. Okay? Similar atong dito sa ito ang si taga to SI model. Yan ay router. So routers are similar to personal computers with hardware kana. Actually, when we uh, when we refer to a router as a device, it is actually a computer in itself, but it primarily processes data for uh, network communication. Okay, so that is why na po na CPU, RAM, uh, ROM, flash memory, and VRAM, and interfaces. Most of these are also true to a common computer. Okay? Sana. Then, finally, we have the network access layer. It combines the data link and the physical layers of the OSI model. Okay? As you may have noticed sa con discussion earlier in which I... I Always refer to them as similar in function, but lahi lang sila og data na ginahandle. Here, sa ato ang TCP IP ng model, giusa na yun sila. Okay? So, the network access layer defines details of how data is physical, physically sent through the network. This includes how bits are electrically or optically signaled by hardware devices. So, essentially, parehas sa atong discussion sa layer 2 o layer 1 dito sa atong OSI model. Okay? So, again, the most common protocol included is katong Ethernet, which is the same with layer uh, with OSI. So, Ethernet uses carrier sense multiple access collision detection method to access the media. So, uh, when when Ethernet operates in a shared media, okay? So, the Ethernet na discuss in detail. Such action, such, such access method determines how a host will place data on the medium. So, mga ang uh, dapat may bawaan. This uh, collection, uh, this carrier sense multiple access collision detection, it is primarily mean, uh, it, prima it is a primarily means of how the host will place data on the medium. Okay? So, mauna ang 
four layers. It is somewhat simplified, okay, and it's heavily inspired from the OSI model, okay. And the aim of the TCP IP model is to essentially simplify the implementation and remove as much as possible the redundancy that uh, is present sa itong OSI model. Okay, so kanto. Diba? Na ay gipang merge ng mga layer. So again, uh, application, presentation, accession, giusa na, sa, giusa na siya sa application. Then, ang data link of physical, giusa na siya sa, as sa network interface. Okay. So, katong previous to discussion, this is, those are actually evident or primarily used sa katong ginagamit na natong nga uh, mga data communication devices. Okay? But remember, when we talk about IoT, okay, we are no longer only concerned with computers, laptops, so nana po tayo dapat i-implement. Okay? Natay dapat i-take into consideration ng other devices that you want to connect uh, into that same network. Okay? Nga na atong mga router, nga mga computer, and so on. Okay? So, as previously mentioned in our previous chapter, IoT reference framework consists of four main levels. So, the IoT device level, the IoT network level, the IoT application service platform level, and the IoT application level. So, we are actually talking about the IoT network level. Okay? So, kanyang IoT gateways, routers, and switches. Okay? Now, the IoT network level, uh, level is in fact the TCP IP layers in our OSI and TCP IP implementation. Okay? Diba? So, as you get to see here, diba, these are the four layers, these are the four, le four levels of IoT. Okay? Now, ato ang IoT network level, okay, in which money atong current discussion, this is actually applicable, okay? This is the target, okay? Ang target ani is ma-implement siya sa TCP IP layers, the re, which is the transport, internet, and network interface layer, okay? So, the part here, okay? So, it heavily relies on the TCP IP protocol suite. So, IoT network level key characteristics may be grouped into three main areas. Okay? The main characteristics that we are concerned with, okay? which is the end-to-end -end delay, okay? packet loss, and network element throughput. End-to-end -end delay, by the name suggests, okay, it's the delay of how data is being transported into our network. Okay? Now, end-to-end -end delay across the IoT network is perhaps the most essential performance characteristics for real-time application. Diba? Most of our IoT uh, devices that we want to implement is typically operating in a real-time scenario. Okay? And the, le the lower the delay, the, the lesser the latency, okay, the better. Okay? So, mauna ang target na to. Diba? Marabit ako kung magdula ta. Okay, since sa, sa kanang adula, sa, what I'm referring to here is kanang online games. Sa online games, uh, if you want to perform a certain action within that game across a network, okay, nga say, tawag, ane, in real time, then you need to have a less of a delay as much as possible. Okay, so mawag po na dere, okay. Uh, a, typical, a typical IoT device which is using real time application should have the least delay as much as possible. We could not really, uh, we could not really eradicate delay completely given that na ay, tra na ay de, kanang transformation of data, sending of data across network, na agi na siya. Okay, na na delay. But we want to have it as small as possible. So again, delay, end-to-end -end delay, it may be defined as the amount of time, typically in fraction of seconds, for a packet to travel across the network from source to destination. Okay? So, end-to-end -end delay, a figure here from host A to host B with illustration at router A. Okay, so, na-delay de na na ka kita bo. So, nata delay processing delay, queuing delay, transmission delay, and propagation delay. So, 
So we will, we will be shortly discussing that later. So measuring the end-to-end -end delay typically varies from one instance to another. It is therefore required to measure the delay over a specific period of time and report the average delay, the maximum delay, and the delay variation during such period, known as the jitter. So again, jitter is defined as the variation in the delay of received packets between a pair of uh, endpoints. Okay? So as it moves across different devices in a network, katong kanang variation sa delay, okay, let's say ingan, sa, from point A to ana nga uh, location na i-delay diha. Ang variation, let's say sa point B to C na po da yun, ana, ang variation nila ana sa ilang delay, it's referred to as a jitter. So in general, there are several contributors to delay across the network. The main ones are processing delay. This defines the time a router takes to process the packet header and determine where to forward the packet. So it may also include the time needed to check for bit level errors in the packet. So kana nga delay, kana nga processing nga nga gakaytabo, okay? That refers to processing delay or kung, kung, when the time the router takes to process the packet. So queuing delay defined as the, as the time the packet spent in router queues as it waits to be transmitted into the outgoing link. Okay? So kani mga packets, di magina sila diritso mapadala, di ba? Bulto. Similar to how a processor uh, queues processes, dari po da yun, sa to ang uh, router, okay, na pa'y queuing ka kay Tabuana. Okay? Again, remember, router is si very similar to a computer, but it is solely designed to process data transfer. So, while that data is waiting for it to be uh, sub to be passed on from the router, okay, that is referred to as the queuing delay. Now, the transmission delay defines the time it takes to push the packet bits on to the link. Okay? So, ana, that is quite straightforward. Then, the propagation delay defines as the time for a bit to propagate from the beginning of the link once it leaves the source router to reach its destination router. So, ang delay fra sa travel niya from router to router that is referred to as the propagation delay. Okay? And transmission delay, it is the delay that it takes, the time it takes for that packet to be sent to a link, to the link. Marapitag sa pagpadala na mismo. Okay? So, kana. Those are the several contribut contributors to delay across the network. Now, packet loss. Packet loss, okay. Ito, this is the second main area that we need to be concerned with IoT network and IoT networking. Packet loss occurs when at least one packet of data traveling across a network fails to reach it des its destination. Okay. So in general, packets are dropped and consequently lost when the network is congested. So kung huot na kaayo, ang tendency ana is nagi dili maigo, dili mabutang ana nga medium. So ultimately mawala na siya or madrop. So one of the network elements is already operating at full capacity, so in, in such a scenario and cannot keep up with arriving packets sa mao ni natay packet loss. Another reason for packet loss is router performance. Let's say uh, medyo faulty na inyong router okay, yung CPU dili na kayo efficient, yung memory management is dili na kayo again effective, so na, na posible nga in this level, sa router pa lang nga pag process niya is nanay packet loss so less common reason includes faulty software deployed the network device or faulty cables okay, morning reason actually kanibitang Ang common yun nga ginatubag sa mga tech support when you have a intermittent internet connection is i-restart. Okay? I-restart nyo yung router. Nga naman, restarting a router clears up memory. And, uh, and during initialization, mura bita o ginabak to default niya and it is expected at that point it is running at its optimum performance. Okay? So, mauna. Throughput. Okay? Throughput may be defined as the maximum amount of data moved successfully between two endpoints in a given amount of time. Maraming unsay kadaghan unsay volume kibali of data. Okay? It relate uh, related measures include the link and device speed. So how fast a link or device can process the information. And response time. The amount of time to receive a response once the request is sent. Okay? 
So again, we're talking about maximum here. Okay? So lahi ni ang maximum kaysa sa real real world nga scenario. Similarly to how I I stated earlier nga kanang katong gigabit ninyo nga connection sa internet, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean nga maunang actual speed ninyo. Okay? So this is actually here. This is the concept of throughput. Throughput is one of the key performance measures for network and computing devices and is typically measured in bits per second or gigabits per second uh, at least for larger network devices. Okay? So, kana inyo makita nga gigabit per second nga speed sa inyong Ethernet link, okay, sa inyong network speed, sa inyong LAN, kibali if inyong tanawon. Okay? That actually refers to the throughput or the maximum amount of data that it could successfully move. Okay? So, kana that is your throughput. So, the Internet Protocol Suite, as mentioned earlier, TCP IP provides end-to-end -end connectivity, specifying how data should be packetized, addressed, transmitted, routed, and received at the destination. So, mauni ang ato ang list of top protocols. Okay? Sa ato ang TCP IP. Okay? So, di na na. Okay? So, many acronyms there. Uh, we are not really concerned with that in this subject. But, again, just so we know, these are the protocols. Okay? The top protocols in every TCP IP layer. Now, uh, IP versions. Uh, the two most commonly used IP version is IP version 4 and 6. Okay? For, version 4 uh, is the first, of course, first implementation, Ani. So, IPv4 addresses are normally expressed in dotted decimal format with four numbers separated by periods. So, it's very common kanya atong atong IP address sa network or sa atong computers. Okay? Or when a device is connected to a uh, tawag, ane, when a, to a router or to a network, maun niya itong makita nga IP addressing. Okay? So, it uniquely identifies a specific TCP IP or IoT network in a host computer uh, or a host, okay, be it in a form of computer, router, printer, sensor, or any device requiring a network interface card within the identified network. Okay? So, mauna. Now, the main problem with IPv4 is it's uh, ang ma-accommodate nga addresses, di ba? It should be unique. Okay? It uniquely identify. Now, IPv6 aims to solve this problem. So, as IPv4 has room for about 4.3 billion addresses, which is not nearly enough for the world's people, let alone IoT with a forecast of 20 billion devices by 2020. So, pila ka folds, almost uh, 5 folds ang yahang limitation. So, IPv6 is, is therefore used to solve that problem. So, IPv6 uses a 128 or 128-bit address allowing, okay, in any kadaghan nga addresses, okay? In comparison sa 4.3 billion addresses sa IPv4, ang IPv6 is nasa 340 trillion 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 addresses. So, daghan yung kaya na. Okay? So, version 4 and version 6 protocols are not designed to be interoperable complicating the transition to IPv6, okay? Since the disparity of the implementation is very large, okay, they are not interoperable. However, several IPv6 transition mechanism has been devised to permit communication between IPv4 and IPv6, okay? So, na morag attempts has been made to establish a form of communication between these two IP versions, so, device mobility, security, and configuration aspects have been considered in the design of IPv6. Okay? So, we'll let me discussing, let's say, the rationale why we are, wh why is IPv4 used in our local network? Okay? Or why are we still using that? Okay? So, our IPv4, okay? Diba? And why are we not using IPv6 sa toang, so ba? Why, are, why could we not see IPv6 sa toang network? So, din ito na i-discuss, okay? Uh, just, uh, ang ato lang ani is, in the near future, okay, it is expected that IPv6 will fully, will fully 
uh, replace IPv4 but for the meantime okay dili pa na gakahitabo okay so kana so that ends okay that ends our discussion with chapter 2 hopefully wala mo nalibog okay and again i am assuming that okay and i hope my assumption is right nga naagian na ninyo but even so if wala na ninyo nga naagian i hope my discussion is clear enough in a way that you understand the different uh, implementation of OSI so we have talked what we talk about this video is kaning atong OSI nga model then atong TCP IP model and how IoT is being integrated to this traditionally okay uh, atong traditionally made nga existing nga uh, OSI or atong networking nga uh, uh, models okay diba since we want to integrate okay we want to add, we want to introduce new devices in a form of this unconventional ng mga computing devices dili, dili ka mga computer dili ka mga smartphone we want to introduce other devices in our network today that is why we need to find a way how to insert this okay, how to insert these devices uh, in this case IoT targets the TCP IP model specifically sa ato ang ato sa ato ang transport internet and network interface layers in which sa ato ang IoT levels there are four ang network level is actually targeting this TCP IP layer okay so IoT in itself na siya kibalig layers in its own or layers in its own but then again di ba we want to implement IoT into our existing na networking protocols okay so that is why we need to discuss this okay so i hope this is clear to you and if you have questions or clarification again you could comment in our youtube section uh in the in youtube's comment section or sa ato ang uh, class work na comment section okay so i'll be ending this lecture video so see you in our next set of lecture videos